Hello everyone, this is Magbo Gaming here and today I would like to give you some tips on some of my experience on game collecting and how you may want to start as well. Like if you're starting off with your game collection, you don't have that much games on you, you're trying to find good deals but you struggle and stuff like that. I would like to share some of my experience on how I built this pretty nice collection right here behind me some more and i'll show you some more video footage right now of some more games that i have stored in of course eventually i'm gonna have to get some more shells because my collection is ever growing and i'm not gonna have any more space very soon for my collection so i'm just gonna say it right here it took me a long time for me to build up the game collection you see behind me it takes years and years to buy games, to store them, get the games that you want added to your collection and stuff. But sometimes it really doesn't have to. Sometimes it can take you a couple years and you build up a decent collection because maybe you have a lot of connections. Maybe you have a lot of resources to places you can go to get deals and stuff. I would like to show you some of my experience on how I collect games as well. But first of all, just want to let you know that I didn't build this collection overnight. It took me years. Remember I started playing video games and started having my first games on the Super Nintendo which I don't have Super Nintendo cartridges anymore. I don't collect them at this time. I may collect it somewhere in the near future. But I do have the SNES Classic with all the games modded and all that stuff so I could play more than just the 25 games that's included or the 20 games, I don't remember, but you get the idea. Okay, so one of my first advice for you to start game collecting is like focus on what type of games do you want. Like what are your favorite genre and what are your favorite game series? Like for example, you want to collect Super Mario games? You would like to go for some of the cheaper games first. Like list out all the Mario games you want. Like I want Super Mario, I want Mario 64, I want Mario Sunshine, Galaxy, Odyssey, all that stuff. And try to make a little list of what games to look for first and focus on that. Build up that collection first. Then you start expanding yourself into other series like Donkey Kong, like Fire Emblem, Pokemon, and then you feel like, okay, there's even more to collect. But try to start off simple, honestly. Try to start off with the series you like the most, collect for those, try to play as much of those games as possible since you really do like it. And you have a small collection, so eventually you get to all of them because you have a small backlog at the time, right? So that's the first thing you would do if you wanna start collecting. You start picking the genres and the game series you want, if you want to collect fighting games, go for like Street Fighters or Tekken and stuff or Smash Brothers as well. That could can be considered a fighting game. The next thing that you may want to do is try to check, okay, where am I going to get these games from? Am I going to get it online? Am I, am I going to get it from a retail store or a pawn shop? Okay, so here's my experience and my take on it. Basically, back then, I started getting games from GameStop because there was GameStops here in Puerto Rico and there were a lot of variety of modern games and last generation games that I could have collected for and that's where I started like building up my game collection from that because this was before I started being able to buy on eBay yes because when I was in college which was more than 10 years ago I actually only bought games in GameStop and maybe some other local gaming stores like Playing Trade and stuff. And then I try to find like good deals compared to prices. But when it comes to in my case that the only place for me to buy retro games at the time was a Playing Trade pretty much. I didn't know any of the gaming stores they have or any of the pawn shops or anything like that. A lot of these stores only sell like modern and last gen games so there's like limited options and stuff. And I didn't have a, an eBay account yet. But if you have that option nowadays you are open to many possibilities, many games you want to buy online. But if you like the thrill of the hunt, instead of going online I would just go to thrift store, to flea markets, and each one of them, which I'm gonna explain each of them very soon. So, the thing that you wanna look for are good deals. 
like if you want to buy multiple games in like one pawn shop or um, flea market and stuff I would usually like pick several of them if I want to buy them for the same seller and then see if I could come up with a deal like okay so I buy these five games for 10 bucks right if I buy all five can you have a discount of maybe 10% or something like that 40 to 45 bucks usually the lowest I would go is probably 10 to 20 percent see if they they're cool with it okay so if I buy five games are are all like ten dollar games twenty dollar games you're selling all of them for ten bucks okay how about forty dollars for five games a lot of time they will probably say okay yeah that's a good deal and the seller is happy because he's able to sell the five games all at once and you're happy because you're getting a discount and then if you're a collector you're building up your game collection but if you're a reseller then you're gonna have games you're gonna be able to sell for a profit and the money that you make from the games you resell are gonna pay for everything else you plan to keep in the collection so i'm gonna give you one example a couple months ago i purchased these two games for 50 bucks right the funny thing is that it, this game Astro Shane was an extra copy so it's usually a 50 dollar game 40 to 50 dollar game and i got these two for 50 dollars so what i did since i already own a copy of this it was an extra copy i wanted to get the luigi mansion 3 game for a deal so i sold this for about 40 something dollars and then after it got sold how much did i pay for it for luigi's mansion only under 10 dollars or so right so those type of bundle deals is what i look for you could look for it in like facebook marketplace if you're in puerto rico you could look up in classifications online where they sell like electronics or gaming and devices and stuff or if anything else you could look up some gaming stores at pawn shop maybe they could hit up a deal and stuff like that gamestop probably won't do that unless they have their own promotions but you get the idea another tip i'm gonna give you as well is that if it's not a nintendo title like for example scarlet nexus that it, it came out at 60 bucks and everything it was 60 bucks for like a year in puerto rico and then i decided to wait for this game to drop in price because it's not a nintendo title because if it was a nintendo title the prices will always stay the same for a long time because of the quality the brand and stuff people will continue to buy it no matter what generation because it's always going to be fun for future generations so the prices the, the value maintains if not it goes higher over time but if it's a game like this that's full price and it gets sold millions upon millions of copy or if it's a very popular game that's not nintendo for the most part it's almost obvious like games like this are gonna lower down in price quite a bit after a while and then you're gonna be able to snag this up for like one third of, of the original price so basically like in other words like if you don't need the game right away if you're not like oh my god i gotta get it right away just wait a little bit for it even for Nintendo titles, like there's some on eBay that you can actually get it for like 40 bucks, $45 to $50, maybe a month or two afterwards. Sure, the stores are going to stay the same price for the most part, the retail store, but this game right here, I got it for $20 brand new sealed in a GameStop in New York. I waited all the way until I could travel in order to get this for 20 bucks because here in Puerto Rico, these guys did not lower its price that much. The lowest, the, the lowest price that it lowered was 40 bucks. Always be patient as well. If you want good deals on new games, don't get new games right away unless you really, really want it and you are able to get the money for it and all that stuff. But there are other games that are an exception to that rule and those are games that are very late release or very niche title. So for example, this Kirby game is a very late release on the 3DS. This came out literally on the last year of the 3DS. So it was easy to get for a while. Like it was 40 bucks. Like I think it was 32 something or $35 across the board in Walmart and stuff. Pretty easy to get at the beginning and stuff like that. But it came in the last year of the 3DS Lite. This was the last first party retail game as well. I don't remember any other retail game other than Persona. That's not even a Nintendo game. But the first party, the last first party Nintendo game, Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. Always keep your eyes on it. If you wanted the game, it is easy to get the first year. You can take your time the first year or two. But after that, it starts becoming scarce because they probably didn't make too much copies of it because maybe this didn't sold as well. 
because there's a, a Kirby's Epic Yarn already exists on the Wii. So like, not everyone is really gonna get this game because they already play on the Wii. Maybe people who bought this game wants to play on the go and enjoy the extra features, I guess. Like, for example, yeah, there are extra features in this. So, it was a uh, retail price for a while. But look at the price right now. A hundred freaking dollars. If you waited too long, then that's the price you're gonna have to pay. You have to pay more than before. But I'm pretty sure that over the years, this is still gonna be pretty cheap because it's been sold a lot and then not as much people are playing anymore, not as much people are buying it after a month of release. And it goes the same with the batting games and the Call of Duty games and all that stuff too. You get the idea. So definitely do your research on the games. It, depending on the games you want, definitely see their history, how much units they sold. And then you could have an idea like when will be the best time to get it. So I gave you some example. There's a million examples out there. I'm gonna give you some and you do your research after that. I'm gonna give you one more example before I wrap this up. But there's some, one more other thing I'm gonna talk about before I wrap it up, but here it is. So this game right here, I think it retailed, if I'm not mistaken for 50 bucks, it's like Blue Reflection Second Light. The first couple years is retail price or it gets cheaper like the following year. It was even $20 when I bought this two years after it came out. So it was good and dandy. But then after the pandemic, this started to go up in price like crazy. That was over 200 bucks. And there is no sign of this ever getting restocked anytime soon, if not ever. Because it's been five years since this game came out, to be honest. And that's the thing, you know. And this has not been sold too much. I don't think that this thing even passed like 500,000 units sold. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to be checking it out and editing it later. You could probably see it for yourself. But this is a niche game. This is a game not a lot of stores carry. Like, if it's a game that's only exclusive to like GameStop or Best Buy, maybe Amazon have it, but nobody else, Walmart don't have this game either, then this is gonna be a little bit more rare than the games that I mentioned previously where you could buy it everywhere and it's very cheap for a while. They made a lot of copies, but with some exceptions, like I said earlier. So for games like this, and for Second Light, it's super cheap right now, like $20, $30. But just you wait a few years from now, uh, Second Light will probably go up just like this. If it doesn't get restocked next year or and beyond. Because maybe they're trying to get rid of those copies right now. Some of the places I go to in order to find these games, first I search for flea markets. I have one in my town. Sometimes I find really insane deals. It's a hit or miss. Sometimes you'll find something really cheap and then you could buy, you add it to your collection or you resell it and you get like a lot more in profit or you don't find nothing. So, you know, you gotta keep hunting, don't give up because you're not always gonna find the games you want and you're not always gonna find the deals you want either. And in this day and age, good deals are hard to come by but it's not impossible to get. You're still gonna be able to find good deals if you look hard enough. So just keep looking, keep searching, do your research online, compare the prices, see if you're getting a good deal on certain games. You never know what you're gonna find pretty much. So other than flea market, I also go for pawn shops. One particular one is the one in Atillo, Casa de Empeño La Familia Atillo. It's the only pawn shop in that I know of in that brand that actually sells, guess what? retro games and that's where i got those one dollar pokemon coliseum flipped it for 120 successfully here's the proof and it did very well for me and i added some games to my collection well for the games i don't have so the games i don't have and that i want of course so we got that basically then there are gaming stores as well that gaming stores are more smarter in pricing their items near to ebay prices but pawn shops they usually sometimes price it very low. It varies depending on the pawn shops you go to. Some of them could price very low, some of them could be very expensive. You really just gotta know your pawn shop in your local area, honestly. So you get the idea there. The retail stores, another place to find games, of course, but you're only gonna find the modern games. The modern games that you find there, you're probably gonna know what games you're gonna find. You literally just go search for games there if you're looking for a specific modern game that came out this year or the last couple years or so. So definitely come with the expectation you're not gonna find no retro games in a Walmart or anything like that. If you do, 
you very lucky that they probably have some hidden or somewhere that nobody knew about for so long and then you find it there and I'm like, yep, look what I found one more, a GameCube game that was hidden for 15 years. <laughs> Something like that, you get the idea. In my town, I have a couple Walmarts, I got Game On, Game World, which are both gaming stores. I got Casa de La Familia and Palacio de Oro, which, yeah, those are the names of some of the pawn shops that are in my area. Those are my options, but if you, not everyone that's watching this, have as much gaming stores within their distance as I do. Some of them may have even more than me, some of them have like less in their distance than me. It all depends on your location. I mean, there's some people, to be honest, are in a location that they could literally only buy online and that's not bad too because maybe there's a website out there you could get good deals there online. But people are more smart to price their stuff online than there are offline sometimes. Because, you know, most of the people pricing stuff online tend to be tech savvy already. They tend to know what's the market price. They tend to know how to look up price charting and many other places. Those are some of the places I look for games. Sometimes I find something good, sometimes I find nothing. But I don't give up the hunt and I have a routine to hunt down games at least once a week, maybe two times every couple of weeks, maybe even two times a week. It all depends on, I rotate pretty much the places I go to. Sometimes I will be game hunting in Atillo, sometimes I'll be game hunting here locally in my area or some in Mayaguez or some in San Juan. You know, it all depends really. It all depends where the pawn shops and stuff and I'm actually looking for some gaming stores which I'm actually gonna do some tours in this channel later on so I could have an idea of some of the gaming stores that I have here in this island of Puerto Rico. So you get the idea. Yeah, good deals are everywhere, but not always. But you never know when you're gonna find good deals. But I say out of all the places I've been to that has the best deal, definitely flea markets, thrift stores, and some pawn shops are the best places to get it. Retails and, and gaming stores, not as much, but you could get deals once in a while, I guess. So that's my experience. Let me know your experience in the comment section below. I would like to hear what gaming stores you have near you, what other locations where they sell games that you could actually look for and hopefully you could get good deals and building up your game collection here or building an online business or whatever. But this is for game collecting, so obviously, if you want to build up this collection, I have went to all these stores in order to build it up. When I travel to New York, I make sure I don't waste too much time and I try to find all the gaming stores that I could visit and see if there's any games that are never in Puerto Rico, but there are in New York for me to buy as well. And sometimes I do look online and I buy from Limited Run and it take like three or five months to get here. And I build up my collection from that as well because that's the only place you can get it. Definitely look uh, for the games you want, see where they're available, and hopefully you have a best of luck on the hunt, honestly. And in order to increase your chances of getting good deals and buying the most video games out of the money and your budget that you have, just keep hunting, keep searching. Make sure you do have a budget. That's the last important thing I gotta say. Have a budget of how much money you're gonna be spending on a specific day and then see how much games you could get within that budget. And then, okay, I bought 10 games for about 100 bucks. I made the most out of the money. There were some good titles there. I built up my collection. And then little by little, as you keep searching, as you keep collecting and stuff, you're gonna build up this collection like this over the years. If you're more consistent on it, if you are more consistent than I am that by searching like several times a week, that's great as well, because I'm pretty sure Phoenix Resale does that. But that's my experience. Like every week, one or two times a week, I try to go game hunting, maybe once every couple of weeks, depending on my situation and stuff like that. Every time I have an opportunity to go to a gaming store and to find some good deals for video game, rather it is to build up my collection, or if I find games that are good for making profit so I can buy even more games or to expand my business, then that's what I'm gonna do. Because when you buy bulk deals, you sell some of them that you don't need, you get that money back, it pays off the collection you have, and then you can buy even more games for it. And that's how you really build up your collection. So those are some of the tips that I have for you guys for building up your game collection. Sorry if this was dragged on quite a bit, but I hope you find this video very useful and you can have an idea how you can start building up your game collection. 
if you want me to give you some personal tips and stuff like that on how you can build your own collection let me know in the comment section below what type of collection you want to build up and what series you want to get a uh, genre of games and maybe i could like tell you some of the best places to get the best deals for those games and the best prices i'll try my best of course because you know some games are very expensive nowadays and if you were to uh, game collect way back then you would have been able to get very good deals on expensive games that are today pretty much so if you enjoyed this video be sure to give a like please do not forget to give a like it definitely helps the youtube algorithm trying to spread the word of this video it can help even more people more potential game collector that wants to start building up their own video game collection it will definitely reach out to more people it will hopefully help as much people as possible get the games that they need and where to search for it and how to spend as least money as possible for their game collection. But that's all I have to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed the hunt. Take care. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. I hope to share more tips for you guys about game collecting. And over the time that I'm going to be in this channel. I hope that I can help plenty of people be able to say, Oh, I built my whole game collecting and MacBook Gaming was my inspiration and stuff. But we'll see what happens. I'm still new to this whole community and I hope that things go well. I, I just want to help people have an awesome game collection. My collection is not the best out there. There's a lot of people that are, have better collections than I do back here. But I'm happy with the collection I have. I built it up from the ground up for a long time. And yeah, I'm very proud of it. I have some very expensive games out there. So that's all I have to say, guys. Good luck with the hunt. Do not give up. Uh, even if you don't find nothing, just keep going. You're eventually going to find some good games out there. Be persistent, motivated, and eventually you'll be successful in this as well. I still have a long way to go to, to get a lot of the games I want, but I got most of the games I want these days, I would say. Anyways, that's all I have to say, and I'll see you all the next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, here are some other videos I have I believe you enjoy as well. Get fired up and gaming to your heart's content. See you there.